Hi, 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 Aquarius. Hey, Aquarius, I am back, okay? I have been gone, girl. I've been... I have been having a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm happy to be back. I did miss you guys. Um, I hope that you are enjoying your summer wherever you are. I am enjoying myself. Um, I'm back, same schedule. We're gonna do the air signs at the top of the week and then we're gonna be live Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Uh, I just needed a break. I'm pretty sure you take a break from your job too. You put your little notice in, do your little paid vacation, leave, you know? So why can't I do it? Why y'all was on me like that? It's, it's fine. It was, it feels good to be missed, right? So thank you to all who, uh, you know, uh, reached out to me and just in concern. And it was just like, hey, I'm having fun, you know, but um, thank you to all who did that. Yes, I have moved location. So it was like vacation with a move with all kinds of stuff, all new stuff going on. So um, I'm thankful, grateful for that. Thank God for that. Um, this is temporary. The setup is temporary. We're going to do something real nice, real funky. Got a lot of stuff coming in the mail. So anyhow, let's move on because you care less, right? Um, let's see what's going on for the aqua. The Aquarius. Let's see, darling. Oh, okay. So when I was um, meditating off camera, I, I was getting tectonic breach. So it's like a major um, hole, a major breakdown. It says a, a, a breaking down or a failing because someone didn't, you know, follow our protocol or um, code of conduct or uh, law, order. So that could be you or someone around you. They're having like a tectonic breach within themselves because they maybe their code of conduct was off. How they dealt with you, deal with other people, just in, in their life in general. Also, I was hearing tectonic breach in terms of their heart chakra. There's a big ass hole. There's a big ass barrier because breach also talks of barrier wall um maybe you breach their wall you, you got over it you got under it you you know it was a major uh you know you made a major dent in their heart in their heart space they weren't expecting to fall in love or fall in like with someone uh like you aquarius or this is how you feel about someone else um they're also, I, then I was getting on the adverse of that. Someone's trying to have a tectonic breach in regards to you because you've set some boundary, some barrier up, and they want to come in and knock those walls down. No pun intended, but <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, they want to come in and really just kind of just like a wrecking ball, you know, catapult themselves in. Uh, because someone's been trying hard to get your attention, Aquarius. Let's see what the cards have to offer you. Um, I didn't get anything for career and finance, but we will pull cards for that. So let's talk about it. All right. What do we want to tell the Aquarius initially? What is going on with the Aquarius initially? The heart. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh. <coughs> uncover this and have a sip of that all right um somebody's having a hard time speaking to you every time they try to come towards you it's just like no stop i don't know what to say i'm, I'm unsure the hierophant um some of you could be studying spirituality right now some of you could be um a guide a spiritual um guide here on the earth um you're setting the law, the order here, or you're under some rules, some law, some order. Um, you're getting a lot of things accomplished, or you're coming out of conflict within yourself, within your career, with other people. 
because you're, you're operating under some type of law, order, regimen, some type of rule, routine. You also have a routine, a regimen, a ritual that you do each and every day. Um, you could be, I heard you could be ushered in, ushered into a new way of, uh, of living. Also, this is like a new spiritual practice. Some of you meditate or you do, or yeah, it's something about meditation. Yeah, a king of swords. That's the king under, you, you know, he's the king that wears the purple cloak or the purple robe. So he's of, of course, royal blood, but royalty, but also divinity. So he is the king that's getting direct, uh, you know, messages uh, from the divine. So some of you are really getting strong in your your divinity and your spirituality um a lot of strategy happening with you again the king of swords talks about expertise some of you could be an expert in your field or you will become an expert in your field you, you're an expert at work if you have a job if you work in uh, some you know corporate setting you're an expert you're the go-to person guru um, you give good advice because you're attached to the outcome here you are the authority on something with the King of Swords here. All right. You could be dealing with a Taurus. You could be dealing with Capricorn, Scorpio, Libra. This also could be you. Let's see what's going on for the Aquarius here. Um, this King of Swords could be under some type of um, spiritual, um, trying to get some spiritual guidance. This person could be thinking about going to therapy, doing something therapeutic. This person is also in the in the mindset of strategy. You know, like I got to do something to get what I want. So I have to come up with some type of strategy. So your person could be coming up with some type of strategy. You know, look how he's, he has a real inquisitive face, very um, a face like uh, trying to think of what to do next. How can I penetrate? How can I breach? because we had tectonic breach. Let's see what else is going on here, Aquarius. The Ten of, ten of Pentacles, very nice. So, um, some of you definitely got like a um, transference of wealth happening for you. Some of you, it's like you're ushered into or you're being brought into, brought into the fold. Some of you coming out of temporary places, temporary states of being in your life, and you're gonna come into a more foundational state of existing, of being with the 10 of pentacles. You're gonna be established or the establishment is happening for you, Aquarius. This looks so good. It's like some of you, um, it's like I'm hearing like, ah, oh, like, you know, you stepping into the light or you stepping into just a, a better way of existing, of living with the Ten of Pentacles here. The transference of wealth. Some of you, the wealth is coming by way of knowledge. Some of you are gaining a lot of knowledge here and therefore you're gonna use that knowledge and you're, it's gonna turn, okay, it's gonna turn into wisdom for some of you. It's definitely gonna turn into money. We'll see what else is going on for the Aquarius. Yeah, the Two of Pentacles change. A lot is changing for you. The Two of Pentacles. So the work that you've done in the Two of Pentacles could be showing up very soon for you. This might be a juggling act that you have to maintain right now, but it's going to get better is what I hear. Better. Better. Okay, better over time. Some of you may be transferring money, you may be keeping things afloat, and it seems stressful to others looking in, but you've got a handle on something. It's a rhythm, and you've got a handle on it. This is also like you're doing two th different things at the same time. You're learning something while working on it, while practicing it. Um, you're implementing something, so you're bringing something into your life while trying to usher something else out or phase it out. This could even be wanting to go into entrepreneurship while you still have your nine to five. So it's like you're trying to really, you know, buckle down in terms of your entrepreneurial endeavor so that you can actually leave the nine to five. 
What else is going on here for Aquarius? It's like, uh, again, the juggling act, but you're doing very well at it. A lot of people are watching you. You know, you got a lot of eyes on you. Some of these eyes on you want you to fail. They want you to falter, you know. Um, they don't want you to, you to succeed, to move forward. You're keeping up. Okay, yeah, you're keeping up airs. Wow, look what fell onto the floor. The Eight of Wands and the King of Pentacles. You got two kings here. So you got, some, you got a yes answer going on, especially in terms of business or business matters. You've got some unexpected money coming to you, or it already did. Eight of Wands, you've got some communication. You've also, this is manifestation. Whatever you have been trying to attract to you is coming to you. It says that all obstacles are going to be removed in your life. Life is going to happen at a fast pace for you. So, so all those manifestations, those things that you were trying to bring into you, they, they may even come all at once. It may be even overwhelming. There could be somebody, something is coming to a conclusion also. You know, uh, again, back to trying to leave something and then go to the next thing. Leave a job and then go to entrepreneur. Leave a relationship and then maybe go into singlehood. I hope you're not going from one relationship to the next, whatever, in my business. Um, it's just like movement with the eight of wands here. Some of you could have moved or you're moving or you're planning to move or make some big move or something is concluding though. It's not over, you're not dead, it's not dead, it's not done, but it's concluding. Something about phase because we brought up phase. So some phase, phase one is over and now you may be going into phase two. So phase one is concluding, phase two is beginning and it could be have something to do with maybe following your heart's desire because the king of wands is about you know desire is about want you know he goes after or she goes after what he or she wants so it's the desire of your heart what do you truly desire in your heart and it's about the king of wands his affirmation is i want or i desire so that you know that is what he or she is all about it's also entrepreneurial endeavor some of you could be really tied to your home right now and um, some of you could be doing some remodeling or decorating or whatever it is you're trying to do um something about the home the home space um it's got you really tied to it some of you this could even be a, a home position home job you may, you may even have a job that you're going to try to do from from home or a business that you're going to try to do from home Again, you got unexpected money, luck, uh, fortuitous is what I just heard. Okay, so something that's going to be, you know, um, successful, growth, it's going to bear fruit. It's going to, you know, you're going to see, um, uh, you're going to see, um, what is it, a return, a return there. And whatever you put your time, your energy, effort into. This looks so good for you, Aquarius. Some of you can take the lead in your life. This, if this is love, I'll ask specific questions about love. I'm just gonna read the cards how I see them right now. Um, let's see what else. Yeah, six of swords. Some of you moving on from like turbulence or turbulent work environments or work relationships, um, drama, backbiting. You know, just the people who bad blood. You, you've moved on from that. Uh, you're transitioning. You're transitioning into a more peaceful, calm state of existing, period. Your entire life of existing, not just work, but just your whole existence. It's going to be about peace, prosperity, and you're choosing that. You're choosing to move away from that. You're making sense of moving away from something that just causes you a lot of stress, drama. It makes sense to do so. I heard even if you have to take less money, I don't know what that's about. You got the Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So true identity, true self. So you're, you're embarking on that. Um, she's got the staff in her hand here. So it's like some of you, or, or the, the wand in her hand. So it's like some of you are, again, attracting, doing, you know, maybe even ritual to attract into you all those uh, vibrations, uh, all of those good vibrations. Um, good manifestations, things that you really want, true identity, not really 
you know, um, running away from yourself. You're leaning into it. Some of you are leaning into the fact that you are charismatic, outgoing, good looking, funny. So you're going to incorporate that humorous side. I don't know, it's something that you do or something that you will be doing. Um, you already have a, you already have a lot of sex appeal. You're already, you know, sultry or seductive, or there's a seductive energy about you, or everything about you exudes sex or sexuality. I don't know. You could just be sexy. You could be very uh, voluptuous. Is that a word? I know that's a word. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correct. Um, some of you are walking into your life purpose also. This could even be, again, leaving something behind and go to something new, better, more vibrant, more outgoing, just happiness. Yeah, some of you could be leaving a career and, you know, handing in your two weeks notice with the Knight of Wands here. You're determined, dedicated to make this thing happen. Okay. Um, this is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful, uh, Aquarius. Uh, let's see what else is going on here. this here um and you got a lot of attracting energy a lot of attracting bringing in something new 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 this could even be a new relationship let's see what the cards have to offer for love here what do you have to tell aquarius in regards to love we have to tell Aquarius in regards to love. If you want to timestamp this, anybody who timestamps the love portion, looks like career came out first. If you want to timestamp the love portion, I will answer uh, one free question for you. You want to timestamp this? Just uh, first person to timestamp the career, then the love. Um, I will answer one free question. Make sure you email me. Email is in the description box. Love, page of swords. All right, so in love, it looks like somebody's, somebody could be getting tarot card readings on you or you're looking at tarot card readings or you're getting tarot card readings in regards to someone else here. Um, someone is inquiring about you. You know, they want to know about you. So this is somebody that's not close to you or that you're not talking to or the communication is little to none. You know, it's like, hey, how are you? And then it's nothing. Or um, it, it's non-existent. Like you, you guys just don't talk. Um, so someone has to inquire about you by other means. This person could be spying on you. They could just be outright stalking you. You could be the subject of gossip. Um, they engage in gossip just because it's about you. And they're also trying to inquire about you. So it's like anytime anybody is talking about you, they want to be there in the room or they want to be there in the conversation because it gives them a window into your life. Again, they could be looking at tarot or getting tarot readings on you. Or this is what you're doing. Let's see what else is going on. Wow, Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. Um, I heard I'm every woman. All right, so you could be every woman to a particular person. Um, damn. I, I was going to say a man, but we've got a lot of women coming up. Nine of Pentacles. All right, so, so the Queen of Cups is fixed, fixed energy. She's fixed um, water. She's Scorpio. Some of you could just be really deep in your emotions and you could be closed off. You could be coming off as detached, aloof, just not really wanting something um, lovey-dovey or close, or you don't want to be vulnerable in terms of your emotions right now. Um, it's because you're trying to practice emotional stability. You don't need anything or anyone destabilizing you. You've already gone through that. Therefore, this is like a healing process and you're trusting your intuition. And then you're also feeling like what you went through is a story for someone else. It's like you, you know that you have something to offer the world. The Queen of Pentacles, you've, you're coming into understanding, Aquarius, in terms of love, your value, your true value, that you are a catch. You have a lot to offer something or someone. But you're, again, closed off with the Nine of Pentacles. She keeps people, men, women, whomever she dates, outside of her heart space. As maybe even outside of her home. Um, this is a person who has boundaries, um, set boundaries. This is not somebody who's open. This is also, this looks like some of my Aquarius, especially my Aquarius women, are more so concerned about themselves, their money, how they look, their body. They could be trying to take care of themselves. 
um, this could even be this could even read as like cosmetic work being done or you're going to get some cosmetic work done or you have had cosmetic work done this is also in terms of you could be the business or the brand of something or your own your own business or someone else's business you be the face of so it's like you're more so concerned about you 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 and not love right now um, but somebody is or a lot of somebody's are inquiring about you um, yeah you get a lot coming in for you you get a lot coming in into your home like you got a lot of packages that you're a lot of packages at your door you could be a blogger an influencer you're more so concerned about like uh, affiliation that brings you money you're not more so concerned about love and romance right now uh, let's see what else is happening for the Aquarius in terms of love. Yeah, five of swords. So you were in some relationship where there was defeat. Now, you could read it as like this. Like maybe you didn't get what you wanted from a particular person. And maybe they didn't get what they wanted from you. So the both of you are resting in an energy of defeat. It just didn't work. It, it fell down. Somebody also could have played mind games, manipulation with you. And see, they thought that that would win because the five of swords is about the win okay but it, they, it didn't win you over they could be in the energy of defeat um you could have been the person playing mind games the five of swords is a, a first deacon aquarius card so i think it's like early january um aquarius so you could have played mind games someone could have played mind games with you somebody wanted you in a place of surrender okay just deal with it this is what i'm offering accept it deal with it they wanted you in a place of confusion of fighting for they wanted you in some type of love affair it may have had no title and and somebody also wanted no real strings attached here um i don't know somebody fell on a sword that they meant for you like they they got hurt they hurt themselves also um let's see what else What's going on for the Aquarius in terms of love? The Aquarius look good. Yeah, and the Wheel of Fortune. You could be meeting the one or you already met the one. Whomever you're inquiring about in terms of this reading, yes, they are a soulmate. Okay, now you can hand clap. That doesn't mean that you you guys are going to be together. They could just be a soulmate. Karmic soulmate, good soulmate. I don't know. They are a soulmate. It is what it is. Um... But you could also be meeting someone else. You could be meeting someone where you kind of fall head over heels with the Wheel of Fortune here. Um, there's some change that needs to happen. This is divine timing, though. There's some change that needs to happen, maybe with a masculine energy, because the wheel reduces to a 10. Well, it's a 10. 10 is masculine energy. Um, this is somebody who needs to learn a lesson here. This is somebody who needs to let something in. It needs to be a breakdown so that this person can have a breakthrough. Um, so, you know, um, yeah, you could be dealing with somebody who has to deal with something all by themselves. You don't help them. You don't usher this in. You guys could have gone your separate ways also with the Wheel of Fortune here. Only timing will tell. Mm. All right, let's see what else is going on. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. So, Ace of Pentacles and a Nine of Pentacles together, it reads that somebody has had some real change. It could be you, Aquarius. I don't know if it's your person. Your person could need to have real change. We'll see. We'll try to drill down on that. We might even do an extended reading here. I'm not sure. Um, so, Ace of Pentacles here. It looks like divine time will provide an opportunity opportunity maybe for a new start to have a foundational new start this might even be divine opportunity for you to meet someone new it's going to be foundational this is it says an encounter a sexual encounter you may even hell, you, know, you may even find somebody that you can just you know do what you do with you know it may happen rather quickly okay two cards fell out as i said that the ten of wands with the ten of cups so we got ten ten you could be seeing ten ten it could be significant again there's somebody here who needs to have a breakdown this was somebody whose heart chakra was closed this was somebody who took you for granted 
They didn't see what they really had. They didn't see the queen of pentacles type of energy in you. They didn't see you as the catch, as the one. I don't know if you, you know, something else was shiny somewhere else and, and this person went somewhere else or they chose something else or they chose a single life. This was a person who was kind of like on autopilot also. They were kind of like a walking zombie in terms of heart and heart. Again, back to tectonic breach, like you breached their heart space. They didn't know that they were gonna fall in love with you, that there was love left in their heart for someone in terms of a romantic relationship. You may have been dealing with a, a player, player, player from the deep in the Himalayas, okay? Um, this person just did not, this was not the plan, okay? And uh, they're coming out of that. This was karma for them, you know, karma for them. This was karma that they needed to work on. This was a karmic connection between the two of you also. You may have learned some things about yourself in regards to this relationship, this person. And of course, they learned some things about themselves and may even have opened up, you know, a new opportunity, new door, new love. Uh, newfound love within themselves they may even come out renewed after having met you Aquarius they didn't know they were on a fortune after difficulty this was they going through a really difficult period too dark night of the soul they can't you know they could kind of beating themselves up for taking this for granted taking advantage or not taking advantage of the opportunity or taking you for granted or this is you Aquarius what else do we have in love here this is masculine energy the three of cups so we do have someone maybe looking at you as the one that got away the one that they want to be with we've got cardinal energy here we got cancer showing up this person could want to so we got cancer we got capricorn we got aries this person could want to um libra reach out to you uh, communicate with you communicate how they're feeling see early on in childhood they did not learn how to communicate their feelings it, it, it might not have been something that was expressed in their upbringing parental parental is what I'm hearing like they I don't know maybe they were, just weren't able to express how they feel They had to express how they felt with maybe a sibling. They really couldn't express it with a parent, parental. They didn't see their parents express love or devotion maybe for one another. The sun card. Yeah, something about childlike, childlike, you know, I don't know. With you, Aquarius, they feel like you're the one, number one. They feel like you're the one. You're the person that brings a lot of sunshine, a lot of happiness, a lot of contentment into, the, into their lives. Okay, Aquarius, or this is how you feel about your person. Um, they, they have to kind of, um, I'm hearing like reparent themselves. They got to go through something here in regards to be ready for a relationship with you. Self, like they, they need to heal the inner child. Like they have a lot of hiccups with, the, with parent or parental. Maybe the parents were absent, or they were brought up in foster care, or the parents were cold. The parents were there in their lives, but they were very cold in terms of emotion. They didn't make marriage or love look good. Somebody just was really turned off to it. And then they met you. You had a two of wands. Definitely cardinal energy. There's somebody here who wants to be first, or, or they want to do something they want to reach out to you or they're planning something and they're planning to reach out to you first or, or maybe they're trying to get you to reach out to them. Something about first. Um, somebody thought that the grass was greener, was better on the other side. Somebody also thought that they could find better in regards to kind of comparing, comparing you to something or someone else. I don't think they found better. They found okay, adequate. Mm. They're waiting for some knee-jerk opportunity to, to come in, to rush into you. I don't know if they're waiting for it to come from you, the universe. They don't know where they stand with you. They could be going through the dark night of the soul. Let's see. Yeah, well, the Ten of Swords. This is a person who's really, 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 really going through it, okay? 
um, and they're learning how to express themselves, communicate exactly how they feel. Therefore, they won't be in that like five of cups energy. Wow, dark night of the soul, nine of swords at the bottom of the deck. That five of cups energy where they regret not saying things. Um, so they could be learning how to express themselves and express their emotions. The Ten of Swords here, they're not able to cope with the fact that it's over, it's done. Something you did, Aquarius, was a blow to their ego, but it also propelled them, pushed them into, you know, maybe um, exploring deeper into themselves, into their psyche, into their emotions. This is a lot of masculine energy. Being somebody was a drama king, drama queen, they wanted to keep all of that up. They wanted to play the victim. They were overly dramatic. They were acting as if they were the martyr all the time, like they had given up so much and they were this and that and my life was so hard and blah, blah, blah. Now they're under the higher fence direction. They're being guided back to you, Aquarius. It's like the higher fence talks about trying to bring two very different people together. Adverse, adversary. This person can't come back to you until they figure themselves out. Know thyself. Yeah. The age of Aquarius, the judgment card. So it's like they have to really awaken to themselves, awaken to what's going on around them. Also, the judgment card talks about hearing the call and then answering the call. So they may be hearing the call from spirit that you need to fucking change. You need to grow up. You need to be better. You need to get some type of spirituality in your life some type of rule regimen law order this person is having that tectonic breach because they failed they were breaking the rule the regimen the, the order the code code of conduct so now they're having to deal with that that nine of swords energy that karma they have to deal with that negative karma they didn't conduct themselves correctly in the face of being met with you in the face of being met with this relationship. They also need to deal with their past, with the judgment card. It talks about uncovering the past, digging it up, dealing with it, and then burying it again so that you can move forward. It's like they have to go backwards before they can go forward. They, they're really being prompted by spirit to fucking change. Like, I don't know if they will though. Tell Aquarius more about this relationship, if you will, if you want to. Um, I feel like Aquarius, you, you're just kind of off to yourself, doing your own thing, concerned about yourself. This person is really going through it. Paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, um, playfulness, oneness. So I think Aquarius, you're in a place of just fun, paradise. Maybe you've just ventured off to paradise maybe you took a trip or you were planning a trip uh receiving what you need progression arriving moving on closure issues both yeah you receive what you need to move on aquarius uh this person is stuck they can't move on because they just won't learn the lesson yep and they're reminiscing um uh, they need to learn from the past um they're, they got some keepsake of yours. Maybe they look at it. It could be a text message. It could be something you left at their house, something you gave them. They just go over and over and over and over it instead of actually delving into the fact, though, as to why the relationship broke down. Yeah. Not enough. You were frustrated in this relationship. It was lack of confidence. Somebody had fear and ego issues and jealousy. Yep. And they self-sabotage. Definitely fear and ego. So they were making decisions from fear, from the ego, which was the worst decision ever. Um, the Grim Reaper, the relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform. We just talked about that. For some of you, it's just no second chances because it seems as if in the cards, your person is having a hard time leaning into the fact that they need to grow and transform. What we did not see is the death card. We did see the judgment card. So the universe is like calling to them to, to um, resurrect something, okay? Dig it up, that hurt, that pain, that shame, maybe from childhood and deal with it and then you can move forward. But I don't know if they will. So for right now, it's like, it's over, you know? It's over, it's done. This person could wanna meet up with you and converse with you 
and talk about they're going to really savor that moment if you give them the opportunity to meet up with you and talk to you they don't know where they stand with you and um i don't know if you should i don't know Shit. i don't know um but what we see in the cards they are not ready um because they got to go through like a lot and they're fighting it or they're trying to dismiss it tell us about this aquarius person here that's about aquarius person yep doesn't take breaks between relationships ending so they they jumped into something else with someone else um it's like they're doing everything other than healing they're running from it jumping into new relationships um their spending habits suck so they get money they spend it fast um whoo they could be dealing with sex workers or they are a sex worker they're doing only fans they're an exotic dancer ex escort prostitution uh, prawn, you know, or, or pay for play, you know, uh, go on dates and at the end of the day or the, the middle of the date, they tell the person how much they owe, you know, I don't know. Um, so your person could be just dealing with low vibrational energy or they're in some low vibrational energy. They're just not ready to come out of that. They uh, could be a recovering addict. Okay. They, they're surrounded by triggers. They need a peaceful environment, but they're not in that. And they're deciding to accept the BS relationship or just the BS life that they're in. They're not wanting to ascend, to go higher, to be clear, to be, you know, positive. It's just not what they want. Whoa, look at this. So what they are doing is reaping the harvest from the seeds you've sown, good or bad. So this is what they're doing. They're reaping a the harvest from the seeds that they've sown. And then I couldn't say that they're great seeds. Um, so again, we did see dark night of the soul. We did see them suffering. Uh, this person does want to come back. They do miss you. They see you just abundant and just doing your thing. They're accepting to be low vibe low vibrational they're deciding that you know it's just too much too much work yeah this came out in reverse none of the cards should be reversed ten of pentacles in reverse they're not trying to have like a transference of wealth wealth is wisdom knowledge the opportunity to get money they're they're not they're not wanting to grow mature they also are accepting low vibrational type of energy, low vibrational relationships. They're just accepting it. It just is what it is. They don't feel like they deserve better or that they, they want to, you know, be better. They don't want to ascend. They don't want that. It is what it is for them. They definitely want to reconcile with you. They want to have sex with you. They keep thinking about the sex with you. They could be getting messages from the universe, from spirit, God, whatever you call it, um, to make some change in their life. That's the only way that they'll get you back. I don't know if they'll do it. Let's see. Yeah, five of swords. I'm not sure. So they may be going into scheming mode like okay i'm not gonna really change but i can act like i've changed i can say i've changed i can uh, manipulate i can play games i can trick the aquarius i know that there's bad blood between the aquarius and i so i'll just do whatever i need to do to get back mm, that ain't good yeah page of swords It's like they're trying to come up with some immature. They want you to argue with them too. It's like if they could just get you talking, if I could just meet with you and converse with you, even if it turns into an argument, 
This is a low vibrational, immature person who just does not know how to communicate. And they just hurt. Hurt people hurt people, three of swords. They don't like the fact that you're not talking to them or that you guys are divided or there's divorce or there's a breakdown in a relationship here. They're not dealing. So the swords are about trials, tests, tribulation, right? They're not dealing with this test, this trial. They're not dealing with it very well. They're not dealing with the fact that they can't have you or talk to you or have you in their life in some type of capacity. They don't like the fact that maybe you're growing or you're not moving or making any move or you're dedicated to you or you, you when you said that you wanted something more, or you said that you wanted something more committed, um, evolved, you stood on that and you're not moving towards anything less than that. They don't like the growth within you. We're going to do an extended, we're going to see what this person's next moves are to you. I'll give you a little preview though. What's the person's next move? Mm. So the person's next move is the Hermit card. But there's something that came out behind it, which offers promise, but... I don't know, it's, it's, it's really a question of will your person do the work? Your person is just like, it's, I don't know, they're just not up to it, you know, and you were supposed to meet them for a reason, you met them for your reason, you've learned your lesson, you've moved on, you just, you might have to really sever ties with this, even though they really want you back, they're thinking about you heavily, they, they want to come back. Um, they feel like with you, you can ease the pain. What's the advice for Aquarius moving forward? And then we'll close out. What's the advice for Aquarius? Advice for Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius. Too much to whom much is given, much will be required. Luke 12, 48. So um, Aquarius, um, you've got a lot. A lot is going to be required of you. Not just, okay, your finances, your resources, but just you've got a lot of wisdom. You've got a lot of understanding. You've got a lot of tolerance within you. So you may be even pulled. There might be even, you know, be situations where, you're, you know, you're going to have to really clue in on that or use all of those different attributes about yourself kundalini awakening so all of your concentrated energy of awareness or attention so some of you have had this kundalini awakening where there's a concentrated energy of awareness or attention so it's like you you you're aware of yourself uh, you're aware of um, this newfound life purpose you just awaken to you knowing yourself when you really unlock that about you then that's the kundalini awakening um somebody they want you to know that somebody is catty petty dramatic and gossipy a warmonger it could be your person it could be someone around you catty petty dramatic and gossipy you get the page of swords that came out twice in regards to your person um they could be all of these things they could be a masculine energy, but they rest in a lot of feminine, negative feminine qualities. Where they're gossipy, they're petty, they're dramatic. They keep up a lot of stuff. Dramatic in terms of there's always something going on there in their life. They're always in something. They're always this or they're always that. Or maybe you're dealing with a feminine energy that's like that. They're a warmonger. They love to have a lot um, of just discord, drama turmoil going on around them they thrive in it so they could be one of the six negative signs that that doesn't mean that if you're a negative sign you're a negative person it just means that you can thrive meaning you can survive you can grow in a negative environment and uh, if you're on the six positive one of the six positive signs of course you need a positive environment to actually thrive and grow and when you throw 
the positive into the negative side or the negative into the positive side, then you get adverse, you know, action there. And they have to kind of learn how to, um, you know, be better or um, still strive and thrive in those environments or learn to transmute the energy. Your person could be one of the, the negative signs and everything that they go into, they either like it to be this way or they cause a little bit of this friction and frustration. And it could, you, Aquarius, you're one of the positive signs. So it could cause you, there's conflict there. You don't understand it. And that's most times where, that's the basis of most conflict, right? You look at some of the religious conflict, the Muslim and Christian, it's just because there's no real understanding. Um, so it's like you don't understand why this person so gossipy, petty, dramatic. Why can't things just be easy, flow free? But that's not who they are. That's not their makeup. So it's, again, back to knowing thyself and knowing others. Um, <laughs> this person... I can't make it up. So just think of that little spiel that I just gave you about negative and positive signs and then look at this. You are a good person, therefore I can't let you go. I will never find anyone like you. So they know that you're good. They know that you're positive. They know that you, you know, you're, you're nothing like them. And it's like they need that. They may even kind of manifest off your energy. Because sometimes when you have that polar that come together, you know, one being not so great and the other being, you know, positive or a good person. The other one can kind of can feed off that other person. Whoever's stronger there, whoever sees that, you know, it's most times the negative feeding off the positive. I'm not even going to lie about it. Um, you know, you get with somebody and they just see that you, you bring a lot of positive energy, a lot of radiance, a lot of sunlight, a lot of just fun and positive and looking at the brighter side and helping out and, you know, you'll give it the old college try and all the above, they can manifest from that, you know. I can make things happen with the Aquarius because they're not like me. They don't, they're not, um, they don't need someone to help them see the positive side. They don't need someone to bring optimism into their life. You know, I need that. That's what when people say they're manifesting off of you. you know. So anyhow, Aquarius, we're gonna take this to the extended, and we're gonna talk about this person and their next moves towards you. The Hermit, the Temperance card came out. Um, it's promise here. I don't know how promising it is, but it is promise here. Um, your person has a, it's a long road ahead. It's a long road ahead. So let's get into it. Thank you for being here. Uh, thank you for all of the welcome back messages. Um, if you want to get your own personal reading, keep in mind that uh, readings are 50% off. So the price you see is not the price that it is. Use coupon code 50 off at checkout. Come, let's talk about your life and see how we can uh, come up with a plan of action to get you to a place of you know getting the outcome the result that you want right so thank you Aquarius many blessings to you take care all links are below please like share comment and subscribe let me know is your person a warmonger do they keep up so much drama have you gone through your kundalini awakening let me know down there in the comment section um are you the face of something? Because I see you, you being like the brand of something or lots of people want you for whatever it is that they, they have going. Let me know. All right. Thanks, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.